Welcome to the SO Video Show. Yes, we're back everybody. Uh, since the episode I posted back during the summertime of me actually talking about how the King Kong films and all that, it's, there's like this long hiatus you guys got and all that. It wasn't editing this video, it was more in line trying to figure out, alright, what we're going to do next. Because the King Kong video took so long to edit, basically incorporate another video within it which was supposed to be a theme review of, of Godzilla vs Kong and all that. So I'm sorry for the long hiatus we had for this video and all that, but without procrastination let's go back to the topic of what we're going to talk about in this episode. Of course I am alone, again, Leo couldn't show up in the episode, I didn't even bother to ask him and all that. I think he won't, wouldn't be that much interested in actually being in this episode. Today we're going to talk about fall season Blu-ray releases. Yes. We're going back at doing Blu-ray releases again. I was supposed to do one in summer. There were like summer Blu-ray releases, but of course that gosh darn King Kong video took so long to edit. Now we're going to do about fall season Blu-ray releases. Yes. Yes, I have written a, a pretty long document here about 10 pages. So it's going to be a few amount of Blu-ray releases, but it's going to be a pretty good selection we have here. Of course, I had to go through it and can include all the Blu-ray stuff coming out on during the fall season and all of that. Okay, so let's begin with the first one. Future Boy Conan Complete Series Blu-ray Set. Yes, we're actually getting Future Boy Conan, which some I think some episodes were also directed by Hayao Miyazaki. He had some involvement within the show itself. On Blu-ray in the United States of America. Uh, and it's going to be a brand new 4K restoration of the complete TV series, Japanese audio track, and a new English dub version with English subtitles. So they actually did a new English dub for the series, which I didn't, which I don't know why you need to do an English dub for the series and all that, uh, which is like over 40 years old. But hey, people want to see the show in English and all. I think they now see cast, which I didn't roll on my notes, unfortunately, because I already printed this out. And okay. all 26 episodes spread across for a new 4K restoration of the promo trailer, exclusive 16-page booklet featuring character artwork. It will be released by G Kids and Shop Factory on a 4-disc Blu-ray set on November 16th, 2021. So yeah, we're now we're. So yeah, this set, I am, which is surprising to me, now we're getting Future Boy Conan on Blu-ray and all that. But I'm hoping this set will actually sh maybe show G Kids. Hey, can you really see other Miyazaki he showed that he done? You know, Heidi. You know where he goes. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I forgot the rest of the song and all that. In case my grandma really likes Heidi. For some reason, she watches on TV and all that. The Spanish dub, of course. In case. So yeah, now we're getting to like one of the most exciting Blu-ray releases we have here. I know like everything is, I say that like this is interesting, this is most exciting, but this one is a definite like, wow, we're getting this. It is the Citizen Kane Criterion Collection 4K Blu-ray. So yeah, this is so much exciting news because since I think around 2019, Boutique home video labels started moving towards the 4K format. The early ones I can actually think of is the, was the Blue Underground label and all that, and also Arrow Video. Oh, so they started going into the 4K format, and everybody was like thinking, when Criterion's going to do it? And Criterion finally does it. Anyways, okay, so let's go into the bonus features. New 4K digital restoration with uncompressed mono soundtrack, and there's going to be two different editions, a Blu-ray edition and a 4K edition. So you're sort of doing it similar to the DVD, but you're not giving a DVD edition for any of the 4K titles. In the 4K UHD edition, you will include one 4K disc of the film presenting Dolby Vision HDR and three Blu-rays with the film and special features. There will be two editions of the Criterion release, one edition with the 4K UHD release, of course. There will be three audio commentaries, one from 2021 featuring Orson Welles scholar James Newman and John on R Rosabin, two from 2002 featuring film critic, f featuring filmmaker Pierre Bogdanovich, and another her featuring film critic Roger Ebert. 
The Complete Citizen Kane, a 1991 documentary from the BBC. Newman reviews with critic firm Smith Newman and film scholar Ra Racco J. Gates. New video essay by Orson Welles scholar Robert Carringing. New program of the film Special Effects by Film Scholars and Special Effects. Interviews from 1990 with editor Robert Wise, actor Ruth Rourke, Optical Effects designer Lineworth Dunn, and filmmakers Beer Bogdanovich and Mars. Martin Scorsese, Harvey Cartel, Martin Ritt, and Frank Marshall, cinematographers Alan Damon, Gay, Gra Gary Graver, and Vilmo Sigzagmonod. That's a name there. New documentary featuring archival interviews with Orson Welles, interviews with Joseph Cotton from 1966 and 1975. The Heart of Age, a brief silent film made by Wells as a student in 1934. Television programs from 1979 and 1988 featuring appearances by Orson Welles and Mercury Theater by John Hoosman. A program featuring a 1996 interview with actor William Anno and his collaborations with Orson Welles. A selection of Mercury Theater on air radio plays featuring many of the actors from Citizen Kane. The trailer, English subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing, the Lux packaging, including a booklet with an essay by film critic B.G. Ebier, new cover by Mike Bicod. It will be released by Criterion Collection on a three disc set that will also be released on Blu ray, but on a four case on a four disc set on November 23rd, 2021. So, yeah, this is an exciting Blu ray release and also a new move to 4K and all that now. Criterion is now getting to the format and all that. Let's hope they don't have that much issues like Arrow Films somehow have. In case. So the next Blu-ray release is a one that I expected already. Mainly because it's part of a series of films. And these, for, for some reason the second film came out first. But it's going to be Ursa Yatsure, Only You on Blu-ray. Which is the first film of Ursa Yatsure. As a representation, I have my DVD of Volume 1. So far, I'm still collecting in order to complete the first season. And this will be the first time the film actually be released on Blu-ray. Before this, we had the Animega DVD release, uh, Laserdisc release, and VHS release. Now we're actually getting it on Blu-ray. It will include the Japanese auto track and the English dub trailers. And of course, it will be re released by Disco Tech Media with a slipcover on November 30th, 2021. So, next Blu-ray release is also animation related, but is also live action. That being, Who Framed Roger Rabbit on 4K Blu-ray. This is, will be the first time it will be on 4K with HDR presentation and a Dolby Atmos track. An audio commentary by filmmaker Bob Semenkis, Frank Marshall, Steve Starkey, Jeff Price, Peter Sean, and Ken Ralston. Three Roger Rabbit short films which include Tummy Trouble, Roller Coaster, or Rabbit, and Trail Mix Up. A deleted scene featuring the pig head sequence with intro by Robert Semenkis, who made Roger Rabbit, a behind the scenes making a hosted by Charles Fisher, the voice of Roger Rabbit, before and after a split screen comparison between the live action actors and also the animation and the special effects and all that. Because, of course, with Who Framed Roger Rabbit, they had to basically have the anime characters right next to the live action characters and all that which fun fact the animation director was Richard Williams who also directed The Thief in the Cobbler. Tune stand-ins a feature of the cast rehearsal with the life-size stand-ins for the tunes behind the ears the true story of Roger Rabin and in the behind the scenes documentary on set Benny the cab the making of scene the making of the scene with it in the movie optional English Spanish and French subtitles for the film um, there will also be a Best Buy exclusive steelbook and it will be released by Disney on a 4K disc and a Blu-ray disc on the December 7, 2021. So yeah, if you love Full Frame Rod Rabbit and want to see it in 4K and, and want to replace your 4K and want to replace your VHS tape that I have, yeah, yeah you, you should buy it. The next Blu-ray release is also going to be another big like, Blu-ray Blu set and all that. And coincidentally enough, it's also done by Arrow Films. That being... The Shawscope Volume 1 Blu-ray set. So yeah, now we're actually getting Shaw Brothers on Blu-ray in the United States. And let's see, we got a new... We got HD Blu-ray presentations of 
Five Shaolin Masters, Shaolin Temple, Mighty Peaky Man, Executors from Shaolin, Chinatown Kid, and Heroes of the East. And brand new 2K restorations by Arrow Films were the original Negritus, Cameron Negritus of King Boxer, The Boxer from Shang Tung, Challenge of the Masters, The Five Venoms, Cripple Avengers, and Dirty Ho. A brand new tour 2K Master of the Longer International Cut of Chinatown Kid of the uh, from original film elements. Some films already had a Blu-ray release out before this box set and all that, but that's mainly within UK and Germany. For some reason, Germany has like Blu-ray releases like back in 2014 or 15 before this set came out and all that. That, in that includes Mighty Piggy Man, Chinatown Kid, Cripple Avengers, The Boxer from Shang Tsung, Shaolin Temple, and Five Shaolin Masters. So those already had a Blu-ray release, but those were mainly Region B, a Region B lock, but I think I saw like a few titles were Region Free. In case, original lossless mono Mandarin Cantonese were acceptable in English audio, with newly translating English subtitles for each film. Brand new art commentaries by and critic appreciations on selected films. New and archive interviews with cast and crew. Alternative credits here, sequences, and trailers, images, galleries for each film. So a 60 page book featuring new writing by hi, David Dresser, no, David Desser, Simon Abrams, and Terrence J. Brady with cast and crew info for each film, plus intriguing soundtrack info. New artwork for each film by artists including Matthew Griffin, Chris Malbum, Jacob Phillips, Ian and Shady, Tony Stella, Darren Willing, and Jolyn Yates. Man, I've been reading a lot of names today, which some of them I can't pronounce. In the promotional images of the box set, the image impl implies that this will be held in a books in a sort of book format and all that. It will be released by Arrow Video on a 8 disc Blu-ray set uh, with 12 films which is roughly 2 films per disc on a December 7, 2021. The next Blu-ray is we're going back to animation and this one is seems like a people are really excited for which is the Project Echo Perfect Edition Blu-ray which actually has a long story which I actually wrote down here. Remastered from the original film negatives and presented first in first time in HD. Now let's ring the very long story here. Oh, why this everybody so exciting? It's been long thought the original 35 millimeter film film elements were was lost because every DVD release is from a was from a video master or the laser disc version. The Zuckertech was planning to use it was the laser disc and upscaling it to HD, but in December of 2020. Robert Woodhead of the Animega uh, and Ollie Bobber or of Sola Digital Arts discuss securing the materials for the HD Blu-ray release of Metal Skin Panic Maddox 01. In January 2001, Wood, Woodhead and made new in inquiries with AMG, the company that required the rights from the anime Pony Canyon. And AMG represented acquiring a list of films being stored at the Tokyo Laboratory Film Archives in the list. Maddox was listed right next to Project Echo, which basically is the discovery of the film of the film print itself. And Project Echo wasn't actually lost, mainly the film print itself, but it was mis misfiled, and that's why nobody could not find it. So, due to Woodhand's discovery, the Skull Media app was able to request to make a physical search of the vault, and the film print was actually in in there. In March 2021, Digital Tech announced of uh, cancelling plans of us upscaling the laser dust, but used a recently discovered original discovered 35mm film negatives to remaster the anime on Blu-ray. Which I think on YouTube we actually could find a teaser on this new Blu-ray a remaster and it actually looks really great. Featured commentaries, tra trailers, TV spots, music, retrospective, behind the scenes, interviews, galleries, extensive liner notes. It will be released by Discotech Media on Blu-ray on December 21st, 2021. So yeah, we have so many interesting titles we have here, but that's not the end of it. Now we're getting to the biggest Blu-ray set for this video. I'm not sure if it's like the biggest for the other Blu-ray releases, but man, this is just packed and all that. And note, this uh, the set release day is actually earlier than Project Echo, 
But hey, let's save best for last. That is. You know what it is. The Neon Genesis Evangelion G Kids Blu ray set. Yes, we're actually finally getting it. So basically, last year, G Kids announced that they acquired the rights to Neon Genesis Evangelion, including both of the films, and in that they announced, like, hey, we're going to have a Blu ray release, and it's going to be in 2021. Now we living the year, and here's what we got. This will be the first time that the series will be released on Blu-ray in the U.S. because in Japan they already had a Blu-ray release, but that was like 400 bucks and it had no subtitles in it. And there will be three editions to buy. Yes, you have three options to watch the series on Blu-ray. The Ultimate Edition that is limited to 5,000 copies, the Collector's Edition, and the Standard Edition. I should note that the Ultimate Edition all pre-orders are sold out. They were sold out within two days. They open on a Thursday and they're all closed by Saturday. They didn't have like a limited time window where you could get more pre-orders and all that. In case. And it also includes the ADV Classic dub, English dub, which I think they couldn't get the rights to the ADV name so they call it the Classic dub and all that. In case. The end of recent Netflix English dub, both in 5.1 DCS HD, HD Master Audio, while also including the Japanese audio track in both 5.1 and 2.1 DTS HD Master Audio. The ADV dub will be included in the Ultimate Edition and the Collector's Edition, but it will not be in the Standard Edition. So yeah, if you really want that ADV dub, you should get the Ultimate, the Ultimate and Collector's Edition, or one of those. Or you could just keep your DVD set and just be content. Yeah, you have Evangelion in HD, but with only Japanese bank case. So we're going, but both, and also one thing to note, both the Ultimate Edition and Collector's Edition will have eight art cards that the art is the same as the DVD covers that were used for the ADV. A Pyman Edition DVD release of Evangelion. So the Ultimate Edition will include two sturdy fold-out disc carriers featuring artwork from the Japanese Laserdisc, a 156-page book featuring promotional art and artwork, a glossary of angels and Ava units, a timeline of key moments within the release of the show, full credit lists for each episode holds, and detailed surveys of all 26 episodes. 11 double-sided 12 by 12 inch art boards printed on sturdy cardboard featuring art from the Japanese trailer laser disc a limited edition resin paperweight model on the third angel satrio the paperweight is created exclusively for the ultimate edition a double-sided guest ID the card recreated from its appearance from the show includes a reusable 450 millimeter lanyard featuring the uh, Maji System Signature Emergency e indicator Indicators, the IKD card will inline yard are created exclusively for the Ultimate Edition. So yeah, you're getting a lot of stuff in the Ultimate Edition. Now we're going to actually go and move on to the Collector's and Center Edition. The Collector's Edition will feature a 40 page book and the art cards I mentioned before. Both the Ultimate Edition and Collector's Edition will be an 11 disc set while the standard edition will only have five deaths, which I'm presuming is like all the episodes in two films. But the bonus features, you're getting over seven hours of features and all that, but it's going to be cut down for the standard edition and all, where it's just essentially five deaths and you get whatever on, what are on those five deaths, except for, aside from, you know, the episodes and movies. Now let's get into the bonus features. The end of the Evangelion video format version episode 25, Love is Destructive, one more final, I need you. Oh, this will not be in the standard edition. Title free opening, 30 second next episode previews, TV commercials for the uh, for the Japanese VHS release, original soundtrack, Sacred Saturn game, and magazines, TV premiere promos, Japanese voice editions, Genesis OO in the beginning and the light, Ayudan Darkness, image board collection, and Japanese Blu-ray box, box commercial, Animax for episode 9, 15, 18, 19, 20, 
twenty to twenty five and and the finale and a partial animatic for for episode twenty five, which I'm not sure why there's par a partial animatic for par episode twenty five. I think it's episode twenty six. Maybe it's a typo. In case the Evangelion deleted its live action scene and an alternate take of the final scene, and the, the end of Evangelion making of the live action scene, the end of Evangelion theatrical trailer, trailer and TV spots, Fusan Musarhirate. I think I pronounced it, but and music videos for let's go down the list: the Crew Angel Thesis, Souls Reframed by Yoko Takashi, Nazos If I Can Be Yours by Lauren and Mash, Armageddon by Shiro Sagaz, and Tango No Kigo by my Miyami Hayashiro. Listen on Blu-ray as Memories of Heaven. <laughs> That's a lot of bonus features there, er, and I couldn't believe they all packed all that. For this, what does not include is the ADB Platinum Edition audio commentaries and all of that. In any case, it will be released by G Kids on Blu ray in three separate editions. The standard edition and will be released on November the 9th. The collector's edition will be released, and ultimate edition will be released on a month later on November 8th, 2021. So, yeah, that is a uh, a few amount of cool Blu-ray releases, but we got a lot of big ones we're having here and all that. And they're pretty close to getting to the Christmas season and all that. In case. So yeah, I hope you are excited for any of these Blu-ray releases and all that. I will leave pre-order links to all of them on in the description and all that. Whether it's through their official website and all, or through Amazon and all that. Next time on the Aspo Video Show, we will be talking about Cowboy Bebop the series. The 26 episode show and also the movie itself. That is because of the new Netflix show live action version that is coming out in November. So that's all the episode. Have a nice day and later on come back to our video store. Now I think about it. Why does it include a PSA? You know the one with with the voice actors of Asuka and Shinji. Why well, doesn't include that? That would be awesome. Like as a bonus, here's them. <laughs> here's the actors using the same voice for this Eggs PSA. You know, well, it's on YouTube. You could just deal with them, or maybe they were like, no, we're not gonna deal with the rights of with that. Eggs.